Hi, my name is Michael Ledman. Uh, we're going doing an ongoing series of uh, demonstrations of physical assessment. Today we're going to look at uh, checking the conformation of the head, uh, any problems with uh, assist in the, behind the ears and the throat and so on and so forth. And we'll also be demonstrating how to look in the throat without, your tongue, without the patient's tongue uh, overcoming you. Okay? So the first thing we'll do is we'll palpate the head just sweep. Use both hands uh, and what you're looking for is a symmetry and if you use both hands together it will certainly scream at you. Then we'll go behind the ears looking for sebaceous cysts and so on and so forth which just love to hide out there and then sweep down the lymphatic gutter. Okay. Now we're on either side of the trachea so if the trachea is not midline that will be obvious and if the trachea isn't midline that's a problem. Now, if there is any problem with the throat, the, the lymph nodes in the lymphatic gutter will be inflamed and you'll bounce over them. Okay. Now, uh, the other thing we're going to do is uh, check the TMJ, which I keep trying to forget. Place your fingers just behind the mandible, half or open her mouth, open and close, open and close. Okay. And if there is a malocclusion, your fingertip will drop into the space and it will be fairly obvious. You also usually hear some crunching, which isn't the most pleasant sound, but it will tell you that there's a bit of a problem. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is look into her mouth and at the back of her throat. Now we'll use a tongue depressor because the tongue needs some control and we'll use a light because it's dark in there. Okay. Uh, open. Now, when you do this, hold the tongue depressor like so uh, and reach in and pull towards you. Don't go more than half uh, way back on the tongue unless you've just never been thrown up on him like the experience. Okay. Open. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah. Uh -huh. Now, we can see, okay, I'm going to lift your tongue up, look in the cover. Okay. Okay. Now, what we saw there was that she has her tonsils, but they're tiny. There's no indication of infection or inflammation in the back of the throat. Uh, and the soft palate rises when she goes, ah, so her glossopharyngeal nerve is working fine. The space under her lymphatic gutter is clear, so no tumors, so on and so forth. So all in all, a nice, healthy throat.